All right. I think it we're... It says we are live. All right. And I, I see audio coming through. So I think we're in a good place. I think it's it's all happening. Is it finally all happening? I think so. Hello. Hello, everyone. And welcome to the celebratory stream for Millennium Blades. Again. Again. It's me, your yeah. host. Again. Marco De Santos, also known as Mechanic Critic, again. And with me is the ever amazing, ever wonderful, ever again, president of Level 99 Games himself. Some things, some things don't change even after eight years. I'm Brad Talton. It's great to be here with you. Uh, man, Marco, do you remember? Again. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember when we were doing the, uh, like, the, the Level Cap podcast? Like, we got... Yes, I do. We got hundreds <laughs> All, of episodes. Like a hundred something episodes. Yeah. Ago. And... Yeah. Oh, man. I remember we would record at the weirdest time. Like, for me, it was, it was always super early, and I was always dead tired. And for you, it was always super late, and you were always dead tired. <laughs> I, I credit that you had more energy. Like, you had more energy than me in spite of all that. Well, Brad, it's called the vigor of youth, okay? I have mm -hmm. the advantage of being born a few years after you. You see? I see. It's like, you're like, you're like gone from Hunter Hunter. You know that thing where he, like, took all future potential he had? And then condensed it into that one moment to become a random adult with abs. That was you during those streams. You took life force from future Brad so that current Brad could do the part. Well, I'm definitely uh, oh, you're feeling, that feeling the debt. Yeah, I'm definitely future Brad now. I'm feeling the debt. <laughs> um, I, uh, mm. I haven't watched Hunter Hunter, so I have no idea what you're talking about. I have probably half the it's audience. Okay. Half the um, audience just left on that it's okay the show the show hasn't aired in like years <laughs> Who cares? Oh, wow. yeah well actually i saw it i saw it yesterday i was at like like a sushi restaurant and they had a hunter hunter in the background and i didn't even know what the show was until like the kid what's his face came on and then i was like oh uh, which one is it the show. one with the black hair or the one with the, the white the black hair? hair yeah and the green the green coat yeah that's gone that's oh, okay gone. okay that's that's the guy yeah. all right well there we go yeah. Anyway, so that's the guy. You know what his superpower is? It's 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 the Millennium Blades. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Millennium Blades <laughs> Kickstarter launch stream. We have a very exciting docket for all of you today, tonight, or this afternoon, wherever you are. You're playing Millennium Blades. You're here. Uh, we have some cool previews. We have some cool art that we're all showing on the right. Yeah, yeah. You, you right? have to point this, this way. Movie? You have to point this way, Marco. Oh wait, you point that way. I point this way. But we're both pointing at it right now. Uh, am so I the right way? You're, you're doing it right. You're doing uh, it right. Yeah. yeah. This is this is art from our artist yeah. showcase. Yeah. So uh, we've hired and contracted a lot of independent artists in order to uh, draw some characters from Millennium Blades, and it's awesome. It's fun. It's exciting. It's adorable. It's cool. It's it's super cool. Amazing. I've I've really and, uh, I've really loved the yeah. art initiatives and. Uh, and I really I appreciate like all the artists have done amazing work and thank you Marco for organizing this art initiative. Marco, you know, organized and followed and uh, and managed seventy independent artists. Which, like, if you ever worked like you know art direction, like this that's pretty monumental. Like, like this is uh, this is this is it's it's pretty cool to put together a project like this. So. Yeah, and it was so nice to just see all of the different interpretations the artists had. Um, some artists, like 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 you could just see a lot of the artists' personalities and the pieces and the characters they chose, right? And mm -hmm. there were some artists that I didn't know would pick the things they picked. So like, there's an artist whose entire gallery is just you know filled with stylized human characters, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I was like, ooh, cool. You know, I'll take this artist, they'll probably take like Shore or Fulton or something like that, or Dex, and then, you know, it'll be cool art. And they're like, ooh, can I pick Power Creep? I'm like, okay, I didn't know you drew robots, but great. And, you know, they just drew Power Creep, and it was like the most awesome thing ever. Is that the arcade like, okay, one, or, or, or which one was that? It's the it's the karaoke one. The karaoke it's, one. Oh, Power okay, Kiwis, yeah. I really love that one. Yeah, Kiwis. Yeah, Kiwi draws human characters, and that's huh. what their gallery is well, filled with. Like, that's such a good, then, a good power creep. That's uh, that's awesome. 
We'll yeah, see it. We'll they see it found crap their art ability. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if when it comes up, we'll we'll talk about it. But yeah. Um. So Brad, I have a really interesting docket for you today. We're gonna be okay. talking a little bit about the project. We're gonna be talking a little bit about um some of the things that are in the project that might not mm -hmm. be clear. We are also going into the mid game game. Sorry, mm -hmm. mid show game. I have a prepared a little game for you and the audience. So All right. I'm excited for that. And finally, we're gonna we're gonna end with some questions as well as a little preview of the soundtrack. Wow. Ooh, what's that soundtrack? Well, you got to stick to the end to find out. Yeah, and I have uh, I have some cool things too to uh, surprise you with, Marco, because we uh, just, uh, like, for last Friday, got in uh, these. Um, oof. Nice! So, like, samples, I've got, baby. yeah, like, actual press samples that I can open on stream for you today and show you what these games uh, are gonna gonna look like. So we're, um, I can tell you a little bit about where we are in the process and kind of what our, our timelines look like and yeah, where the project's going. So right. uh, so all that awesome. here on this stream uh, coming to you over the next uh, over the next bit. And I can run a little bit later today. I have like plenty of time to, uh, to stick with you to the end. So yeah. Right. So let's talk. All right. Well, Brad, uh, let's start with something really, really cool. Uh, for the people who somehow got here without knowing what we're talking about, what's Millennium Blades again? Why the hell are we here? Yeah, so uh, Millennium Blades is a board game that came out in 2016. Um, so it is, uh, it's been... Uh, I think we're on the fifth print run of Millennium Blades. Like Millennium Blades is oh, is a modern classic. It's uh, the game that um, that you always uh, wished you could have when you were a kid, unless you were a kid when it came out, in which case you might still be playing it right now. Um, I guess some people who were you know born into the Millennium Verse are now uh, you know like graduated into uh, you know full adulthood and perhaps even middle age. Um, I don't know. I haven't done all the math. <laughs> Uh, but eight years yeah. is a long time. Yeah, yeah. Millennium Blades is a seminal piece of work. Ancient masters uh, crafted it, and we live in a universe where art historian courses in college are taught about the ancient art of the Druid Kings. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that so, sums it up. Basic history. So basic history, Brad. Okay, the the basics. So so Millennium Blades is a board game about playing collectible card games. So if you have ever you know, flopped cards or cracked packs or, um, you know, dueled on the lunch table with your friends at school, like, you know where we're coming from. It's the, it's the culture of card games that we are bringing to the table. And this is a game where you play as a gamer. You play as somebody who is buying and selling and trading and playing in tournaments and events and uh, making friends and kind of building their like like participating actively in this collectible card game lifestyle so it and is community yeah it's a I, celebration of the the times that we spent playing these games um and everything yeah. that entails so you know the highs and the lows we like to uh to poke fun at every everything evenly so right and that's yeah. why you know for the people who don't know here's some lore for you uh Prior to Decked Out and Drop Hour, almost every single Millennium Blades expansion is named after a negative card game experience, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Decked Out, Decked Out is also uh, is also a thing, right? Like, yeah. So all right, that's true. But Drop Hour isn't negative. Drop, drop right? Hour is like, all positive. That's, yeah, that's a positive. Yeah, yeah. yeah drop Hour is all upsides. But then prior to this, we had collusion and set rotation. You know, mm -hmm. uh, things that card gamers do <laughs> maybe not like. Don't, and, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe don't create the the fondest impression. But that's uh, kind of the fun of it too, is that we're taking a right. lot of these these things and turning them on their heads. Um, but yeah, and so. I think I think that's the beauty of Millennium Blades. Is you expect us to zig and instead we zag much like now where i say hey brad you're expecting me to talk more about millennium blades but i want to talk more about millennium blades again 
Oh, whoa, whoa, Brad, what's this Kickstarter all about? You know, so, Blood and Blaze came out like eight years ago. It must be easy to get everything, right? Um, yeah, well, that's the real point, right? Like, it's not. It's not easy to get everything. Um, in fact, it's really hard. <laughs> and also with, like, so many... So the game kind of came out in mini expansions, right? We had, like, little packs of 50 cards. And we did those for across eight years. And... Um, you know, it turns out it's really hard to stock like 13 small SKUs for everybody who wants to get them. And there was always something that like we just couldn't provide. Uh, you know, people were asking us, can you reprint this? Can you, you know, can you send me this? Like, where can I get this? And the answer was often nowhere. So, um, so we felt like it was time to take all of those little boxes and then uh, put them into, you know, a big box and make that available for everybody. Also, like, um, we had a bunch of stuff for Collusion. So Collusion was a box that was, like, too big to ever be available outside Kickstarter. Like, it just, like, it wasn't, it wasn't ever going to happen. Like, there was no way that game would ever come back into print. And that meant that there were about 800 cards that were just completely inaccessible to anybody who started right. the game in the past four years. And can you believe it's been four years since Collusion? like wow that's wild yeah that's i know actually I know. insane that was like collusion feels like yesterday collusion you know I mean? was like a formative traumatic experience for me like uh <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> formative traumatic experience this is everyone listening right now this is the sacrifice we make brad has traumatized himself for your card game needs this is the kind of dedication oh, you want from the, the creators of your game. Artists suffering, much like, like the great Van Gogh, right? Yeah, um, well, let's let's not get it to let's not let's not get to it. Anyway, the uh, the <laughs> the point is that um, you know, in spite in spite of all our many sins, um, we wanted to bring uh, collusion back. Like we wanted to bring back those characters and those cards and make that available to everybody. Um, and so this is our way of finally doing that four years later. So collusion, uh, Amazing. all the stuff that was in that box now in draw power. And then there were some high end accessories um, in that box that we put into this box. So this is the, like the deluxe stuff. Um, and in here, there are right, you know, like, like player mats, play mats. Throw me some play market mats. mats. Yes. Yeah. So and these are, these are super cool. We haven't done this before actually. But uh, I'll pull one of these out for you and show you, because um, this is this is the already upgrade. unboxing everyone. Oh my, um, yeah, and it's actually double sided. He's doing so it. It's yes. got like every everything here, but this is the player board, right? So you, uh, right. So if you choose to play on like premium player mats, uh, that's something that's available to you in this project. Right. Yeah. Brad, obviously, this implies that if you use that with the default player boards. You can play a eleven-person game of Millennium Blades. Yes. Um, you know, I um, I kind of want to try that now that you've mentioned it. It never even occurred to me. Uh, but eleven-player Millennium Blades sounds pretty rad and probably wouldn't take that much longer than regular Millennium Blades because you play simultaneously in the timed phase. But we should try that. We should try that whenever um, we get eleven people together. Yeah. Yeah. It, once in uh, once in a millennia. Once a once <laughs> we in a get millennia. eleven yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the, yeah. the reason that the okay. game was um the reason the game was called Millennium Blades, um was actually I, oh lore. I I originally and this is like IRL lore, but I originally intended the base box to have a thousand cards in it. Um, I wanted to make a game that's uh. twice as many cards as Dominion. Um, we didn't end up getting that far. <laughs> it only ended up being about like seven hundred cards ish in the base game. But uh, we decided to go with it anyway because um, we had already made the logo. Uh, uh, I, also, I, 700 I, I, blades is not as cool, right? Like, or like about 700 right. blades. Yeah, it's just not. It doesn't have the same ring to it. Centennial blades. How about that? Yeah, but then you'd you'd expect only 100 cards. Dang it! You're right. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You, you would you would need to like need to do some shenanigans. Anyway, it would be a mouthful. Okay. So, um, you know, Millennium blades. Anyway, Millennium uh, Blade. <laughs> Brad, show me the other stuff. Show uh, me, show me, show oh, me. Well, we've got like, there's the reprint for set rotation, right? That's the other thing. 
Ooh. And then, if you want those bosses, set rotation is good for you. Yeah, and then multiverses Beyonder uh, are new. These are this is like all new content that nobody's ever seen before. Um, so that's you know, Brad, that's super cool. Yeah, I await with bated breath. Please open it. Oh, Please. okay. Let's see what's Just inside. This is like this is not like even for really the audience. Cards. There's a lot of cards in this pack. Um, okay, yeah, I opened it, Marco. There you go. All right, look, see. Open, okay, you're... open. Wow, he didn't—he didn't even show the cards. What a, yeah, what a guy this yeah, the, guy. Yeah, the cards. These cards. These this... cards are for me. This guy. Um, hey, Brad. In the future, when we make a sequel to Millennium Blades, can we call it about seven hundred swords? <laughs> um, uh, well, I don't. I don't know. I don't know where that's going. No, I think the sequel to Millennium Blades um, is supposed to be. I think we had to pick the name for it. I think it was Millennium Trainer. Millennium. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. So the sequel to Millennium Blades is either... Wait, wait, Millennium Trainer implies that it's like a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't know what it implies, like, uh, I, you know, but uh, you can figure that out for yourself. Um, anyway, it's, okay, yeah. it's, it's, it's not... Who dropped the it's not part of this project. We're not talking about that now. No, no, take that away. Then show me the cards from Millennium versus Beyond the Okay, man. okay fine. Fine, I'll show the. You know, I was gonna do a whole uh -huh, update. I trapped you. I was gonna do a whole update and like talk about all the cards, but now we're gonna spoil the cards on stream. So like, all right, look, because look the here, there, look, card, look cards, look cards. Dedicated... This cards. Oh wow, you've wow. seen Millennium Blades, you know cards, it, right? Look at those fast. cards. Whoa, just, just, incredible. Just flash the front of it. Just flash the front of it. Okay, all right, here, the here's the here's the one you know. Here's Lori. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, there's Lori. Lori. You gotta, gotta love okay. some Lori. Yes. Um and. uh yeah, All right. and Lori's just just pro, pick like two to three of your Here's favorite card. card. Yeah. Oh, that's the that's spoiler. The pro yeah, player the card. Pro player card. Yeah. Read the flavor text of that because it's my because it's one of my favorite pieces of flavor text that Josh oh. has written. My bond ever. with Artabiaxnias allows me to produce fifteen words of flavor in one second. <laughs> Is that the one? Right. You're looking? And yeah. read the effect. Read yeah. the effect text. Yeah. Gain one RP for each word in all flavor texts in your tableau up to forty. So yeah, so this is a character that yeah, uh, so that it's... capitalizes the flavor text, and so in order to um, you know in order to uh, build on that, we made sure that every uh, every card in this pack has flavor text on it. Um, which <laughs> honestly, every card in the game should have flavor text. It's just some of the some of them that are. I mean, I so how I would you some how would you parse this? Around... One? How many how many words are on this card? How many words of flavor text are on this card? Tell me. Zero. None of those are words. None of those are words. Okay. Pretty easy. Right? You don't count None that. None of those are words. Okay. I it's feel like this. Easy, I feel man. like this is gonna have to be in the FAQ. You're gonna have to answer that question on Board Game Geek, like, no, like, I by mean, the, you know, as soon as this game comes out, that's gonna be the first thing people post is how many words of flavor text are on the Youngja's uh, card. Well, that's so easy, Brad. They're not words. Okay. It's explicitly stated words. Okay. Okay. Right. If okay. we're getting into territory where we're gonna start saying a bunch of, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Look, if we're gonna get into the territory where we start considering Young Ja's flavor text as words, then the word, then how many words of flavor text are in the word ham? Is it because H, A, and M are all different symbols? Oh, okay, They're all okay, different you know, words. I, like, I mean, I wasn't trying to start a whole thread on it. I was just saying that a thread will be started. <laughs> A thread will be started someday, and, and it'll be your responsibility to clean it up. Uh, um, anyway, it's okay. Anyway. You know, honestly, if that thread could be so happy. Oh, by the way, fun lore fact: Lori's flavor text in that card, pro player card, where she says she makes fifteen words of flavor a minute or yeah. a second, uh, is actually exactly fifteen words of flavor text. Oh, so. okay. Now I get it. I see. I see. <laughs> right, right. It also means that she scores 15 points from it by default because the card itself has 15 I, points. I could kind of imagine her saying that in one text. second, too. Uh, it seems like the jumpy type. Well, yeah, of course. Talks she's, super fast. Yeah, she's, yeah, like obsessively about her lord and savior, mm. Arda Bayaxnias. Um, so, which, like, we referencing, <laughs> we keep refer referencing this characters. thing. So, like, Arda Bayaxnias is a card that appeared in the base set. Like way back, it's sorry. Like, it's the tablet. It's the monolith, monolith of yeah. Axinus, right? Yeah, um, and it's it's like one card that appears in the core set. It's like the five star Earth card or the six star Earth card, and um, yeah, and then there was like, and it's just this one little random piece of flavor in the game. 
but uh, yeah, now there's a whole backstory to this place. It's, um, it's so good. Yeah. You because know. uh, the, the monolith card, the monolith of Artibayaxnius, uh, says there's an Artibayaxnian civilization. <laughs> Right, yeah, that was that was toppled by a scribe's <laughs> There's a rebellion. Civilization of people who worship this god, <laughs> or, or, or yeah, or something. What does this even mean? Hmm. But yeah. anyway, yeah, uh, I had to do I had to do a lot of work to make make this lore uh, this lore pan out. Like you know, because um, like Exaltius is like ten thousand years old, but Millennium Blades was created like a thousand years ago by Pritchard Leftfield, and so I had to like you know like I had to create multiple timelines in order to make all this work out. But uh, but we made it work Can out. Can you guys believe that Brad has a Legend of Zelda S? What? Oh, I think you cut off, Marco. Timeline of Millennium Blades. Oh, okay. uh, you know yes. A Zelda, there's a Zelda time. timeline for Millennium Blades? Yeah. There's a Zelda timeline for Millennium Blades. It's, it's actually completely unhinged. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I'm headed for this project. I'm so glad that we're doing it um i'm so glad you showed off some cards and uh, that that lori pro player is probably one of my favorite it's, cards that it's, came out it's it's uh, super from the cool. set like i love i love the back of that card yeah. uh, especially the um like the magazine uh the, the recruitment poster <laughs> yes and like anyway it's it's a fun set it's a fun set um but i'm i'm really excited to get like all of the gamers that were like because there's like you know like 60 or how many there's like 11 characters in the among these sets. There's six in this one, seven is 13 characters that have been basically like like super hard to play as for most of the past four years. Right. And so like all those player characters are coming back. Like the you know the um, the co-op and boss modes. We've got like I want to say there's like six of them in that set. Like between those sets that are coming back. Yeah, for, uh, sounds about right. Yeah. Like there's there's a lot of stuff, um, yeah. There, there is anyway. That, um, that was somebody in chat's asking yeah. why. Somebody in chat's asking. This is a really interesting question. Why did we make Lori Norwegian? See, here's here's my answer. Okay, it's not that we made her Norwegian. It's just that she was always Norwegian. The lore said so. I suppose so, mm -hmm. as foretold in the lore. I, um, yeah, I, yeah. I um I think like like we've. There's still like a few a few countries uh, that are I mean there's a lot of countries that are missing from the the the, the gamer roster in Millennium Blades, um, but uh, you know we're working on it. Um, maybe we'll see some more. Um, yeah, yeah, where's my Filipino, Brad? Where's my yeah, Filipino? I, I know, I know, and like uh, like surprisingly we don't I don't we don't actually have a Japanese gamer uh, or a South Korean gamer in the game either. That's which... actually really true. Yeah, which There's is no kind of Japanese. weird because so so much of the game is yeah is so anime, and yet, um, but well, you know, uh, I suppose um, I suppose one hundred more characters confirmed. Yeah, I think the thing about it is that like the characters kind of come into play, and then we answer questions about them as they go, and we kind of pick like whatever feels natural for the characters. If that makes sense, yeah. so it's it's more of an organic process. It's not so much as like, oh, we need a character that like fits this role, and so we're gonna make them. We're kind of like, what's the cool character concept for the character? Oh, it's like flavor text, and you know, and we come up with with all this stuff, and then like, you know, anyway, it it kind of grows organically. Is my point? Yeah, it's it's a process, right? It's not like we go. It's not. It's not like we have a checklist of like, okay, we need the lore character, and she needs to be rolls dice of countries. Norwegian, right? Like it's not like no. that, right? Right. Yeah, but, it's, it's it's a creative process between many people. Um, but yeah, you know, as one of the people who helped make Lori, uh, you know, we were really trying to hit on the fact that there was one kind of gamer that was missing, right? We represented so many different kinds of gamers, but the lore gamer was nowhere to be found, and uh, we felt like it was time. It was due time that she came, uh, and now she's here. Uh, um, but Brad. I'm going to go and bring us over to the mid-show break. Oh. Uh, I'm going to in also invite a special guest to speak on stage so that we can have a really fun time. Uh, Brad, are you ready for our special guest? Yeah, let's have our, our guest come on. All right. 
Okay. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to the mid-show break oh. with me, your host, Mark. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh... Oh, what? Well, uh, sorry, I was in the middle of playing uh, this random game. Uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, also saving the galaxy hey. over here, you know, guarding uh, hey, hey, the galaxy. Let, yeah. me, let me let me see if I can get uh, get Crow's uh, video up. I have to take I have to take you down to put uh, to put Crow's up, Marco. It's okay. Oh, no, no one saw that video. No, no one saw. No, no one saw that intro. Not not the Hold intro. On. The on. intro. Are you? <laughs> Hold on. Let me reset. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it again. Hmm. Run it back. Are, are we live are we, now? Yeah, we yeah we, we've been live. We've been live. Oh, oh okay, okay. Welcome, oh, I'm Rose. sorry. I was too busy playing a card game. I didn't see you guys there. Don't know what that was. I'm Star-Lord. I mean Crows. Welcome, Crows, <laughs> and thanks for joining us. So to, introduce, to introduce Crows, um, Crows is the lead on the Millennium Blades uh, soundtrack. Soundtrack of the Millennium. A soundtrack, you say? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that's this is this is true. You knew this, right? You were expecting this. I hope. Yes, yes, I was expecting this. It's just that no one told me this. about this. Yeah, yeah. Crows just woke up one day with the Millennium soundtrack in his hand. I see. I Wait, see. Going like that's oh, what that was. You know, woke up from a fugue state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, Crows. While you're here, yeah. tell people where. They might know you other stuff have you done. You've done um Yeah, give us the well, CV. I was part of I was part of a bunch of web series, you know, one time uh may have been a part of something, you know, card game related, abridged something, Team Four Star ish. You, you know, up there. Uh, I've done voice work you know, in but Pokemon. Those, but those pale in comparison to being the lead on the soundtrack for Millennium Blades, right? Oh, completely. Those all the biggest gig of 100%. all hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, no, this soundtrack, uh I, I, we're doing the soundtrack, right? That's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's. Oh, that's, okay, cool. Yeah, I love the soundtrack. It's so good. The plan, it's going so well. Everything is totally on time. So, uh, so you got our, you got, you're gonna show some samples for us, right? You know, we're gonna play some samples of the soundtrack. Samples. Okay, we'll only. We'll deal with that later. I think. Yeah. If you and crows survived my mid-show game. All right, everybody, welcome to Marco's Mid-Show Game, where I torture you for my amusement. Welcome to Trivia Pursuist. I'm just going to cast Trivia Pursuist multiple times against all of you. What does that card do? Long story short, I will be reading a piece of flavor text from Millennium Blades. You, the audience, Brad and Crows, have to tell me what Millennium Blades card that is. Okay, our, me and Crows are, te are teamed against the audience okay. on this, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Okay. You and Crows are friends. You are fighting the audience, much like most creators are. And now we're going to be playing some trivia pursuit. Marco. So hold on, I need to get ready for this. I need to get in the mood. Hold on, let's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 he's taking the Guardian's jacket off to reveal... Oh. To reveal that he's a member of Solus Game Studios. He's... Oh my god, don't... What's a Solus? <laughs> uh... This is just a shirt I picked off of some random guy, uh... In San Fran, yeah. so I don't know what you're oh, talking about. Oh, you beat him in Smash and took his equipment, right? Like that's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone, let's go. Um. Uh, Brad, 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 mm -hmm. Brad. All right, I'm ready. I'm preparing. Brad and Crows, I want you to understand that this is the flavor text, and I will. Here we go. First flavor text is the man of darkness himself. Uh, uh, tastes like chocolate ice cream, right? Flavor text, yeah. right? Flavor. I, I could lick it. Right? That, that's how that works. Uh, mm, mm, crows. Uh, I don't recommend licking the flavor text. I think I think you might get lead poisoning or whatever. Gosh, is it? This this must be like. This, is this Dark Sentinel Hellbane? It's Hellbane. It's, You're correct. Was the, the okay? The yeah, the original Hellbane from the starter deck. The, the original. The original Hellbane from the starter deck. Yes. Okay. 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 Not the one with All the right. cream filling, Brad. No, no. no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. The vanilla Hellbane. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chemistry wasn't his first choice. He always wanted to be a dancer. That one killer song that is like, "Are we human or are we dancer?" Ah, very uh, close. Uh, All right. That's very close. Very close. Close. Very okay. close. This is. This okay. is. Oh, gosh, is this Birkenstock the chemist? 
Yes, it's Birkenstock okay. the chemist. We're like going back to like the old, Brad. old, old cards from the very beginning of the game. Um, Chad, Chad and Brad are killing it. Wow. Mm. Um, Brad, you're going to need to keep right. up. I'm having to carry this entire team. I know, it's I know, I know. It, like it's, uh, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really on the spot. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll, um, I'll try and catch up. Guys, cool. Brad, we're bad. Chat's saying that Crows is a bit too loud. You might want to lower his volume. Oh, uh, okay. Let me. Uh, you might have him. Well, actually, you, oh. really you and Crows are on the same volume channel. So, Crows, if you could turn your volume, your mic volume down, just like twenty five percent. Let me see if I can. Yeah. yeah let me see. Yeah, you can also just right-click Crows on the call and lower his volume. Oh, I can do that. Or just disconnect me. <laughs> okay. If you don't okay, disconnect me. No, no, I will, uh, I will just, you know, drop it down a little. Yeah. Everyone. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay, um, cool. Okay, thanks for, think... thanks for that tech control. Here's one. You won't get this one. Some people will do anything to win. Uh... Is it anything in all caps or anything in lowercase? Is it? I'm not giving you hints. Well, that, that, that's that's is important. It, I'm, I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. Card. Here, listen, listen to my enunciation. Some people will do anything to win. Okay. Okay. So, so not Marco as a card. Not Marco as a card. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, not, yeah. This is not I'm, Little I'm Mark. A, a... This is not Little Mark. Okay, okay. Uh, it's not Little Mark. Uh, that, the flavor text for that one is he never forgets his special punch. That's right. Yeah, don't forget your special action. Gosh, um, I know this. It's uh, it's the some people will do anything to win. It's 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 not the it's not the Chthonic card altar. I I. It, that's the other one. What's the what's the the normal one? Oh, it's the it's the star. It's the it's the little device with the star tokens. It's like the star booster. Okay, I'll get. Yes, it's the star booster. Yes. Wow, okay. Brad, you did it. Right. Okay. Here's here's another piece right, of flavor. Bonus. Deck. The other one is the Chthonic car, card altar. Wow. Okay. You didn't even let me do it. Okay, chat. <laughs> Some people will do anything to win. I wish I had that card to like throw up on screen, so we have context for this. All right. So, so for people who don't know, it's that Star Booster and Chthonic Card Alter both have the same piece of flavor text, except Chthonic Card Alter says anything in all caps. I was using yes. this to trick Brad, but he had I already can't known. Be, I can't and... be tricked on my classic flavor text. Like, <laughs> okay. And now, now I, I'll proceed one, to, to lose the last question. Oh, oh. Okay. okay here's the last one, and. As a handicap, only crows can answer. Okay. All right, crows, this is all you. Crows, th for all the marbles, okay? This is all you. Only you can answer this, all right? You will this. save the world. Okay. This is the final piece of flavor text, and if crows doesn't get this right, I will end the stream, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here's the flavor text. Can you imagine if they said trivia pursuist? I'm not gonna guess. My first instinct would be, and that'd be Texas with a dollar sign. Um, but trivia pursuits. He's. Don't have to end the stream. We've oh, done it, the boys. My <laughs> word. Done it. My what word. What if I bribe you? What if I bribe you, Marco? Ah, uh, you bribe me to end the stream. You, um, no, not end the stream. No, you got it. End. That's the card. You got it. You, oh, this you is won. A success, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trivia, trivial pursuist is the card that says, uh, you read a flavor text and everyone has to guess the flavor text. And if they get it right, if they, guess guess the name of the card. And if they get it right, you win. But the flavor text of trivial pursuit is is, wouldn't it be crazy if they guessed trivial pursuist? So yeah, it's yeah. like it's it's the card. It's the one card you can never use for its own effect. Uh, right, because it would literally name itself. So, but, everyone, thank you so much for playing this game along with us. We'll move on to the second part of the stream where we... And for putting uh, up with, uh, with Marco's shenanigans, Chris. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we're going to... We're, we're doing it. We're, I, we're going to be streaming some of the music. So, uh, Chris, can you give me a little bit of context as to what this track you sent me is? Okay, so track is actually two tracks so basically let me give you a little backstory on this whole um project if i might real fast 
Yeah, tell so, us about sure, the no worries. Back in uh, the ancient days of pre-apocalypse 2017, this little guy started bugging this person who was wearing uh, some sort of Stetson cowboy hat. I'm not sure. He met him at some random gaming convention. And he was like, I do voice acting. All this stuff. And uh, then he started becoming good friends. I was like, I also, he does music too. And when he was told originally about the whole idea of that there's a real-time phase of Millennium Blades, it's like, what do you use to keep track of that? And that person was like, well, you just put on a timer. I'm like, a timer? So people are going to just keep looking at this clock that's, you know, count down and not looking at, you know, their hand and stuff. And I'm like, what if you had more of an audio timer? What if, if you will had music playing and what if the person who was making that music was that guy who's talking to you right there and that person went hmm hmm that's a good idea and then the apocalypse happened and many years went by but that idea like a seed was planted in his head i was leonardo dicaprio in inception and i planted it and so uh, in the brad's mind <laughs> exactly Marco, you get, me. you get me, Marco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I get you, Chris. And I, I think it, it, that... it took about like four plantings because we've been trying to find an opportunity <laughs> to do <laughs> to do the soundtrack ever since. Um, and I'm glad we finally we finally got got it going. Um, right, right. Yeah. Um, and the whole thing is that um, because each real time step of Millennium Blades is either seven or six minutes. I was like, what if there was a song, you know, for each of those, you know, bits so you could actually hear and give an idea audio wise. But that's a pretty, that's a pretty at. long track. It, you're right, it is. So uh, what if we just split the tracks in two? What if to build up to the second half, we had an instrumental track first and then accompanied it with a vocal track? Mm -hmm. So each phase track. is going to be like yep. one instrumental leading right. into one vocal and so forth. So 18 tracks across, mm -hmm. you know, uh, three, three rounds, three phases per round, two tracks per phase. And uh, no, three. What, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You're right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Correct. It's six, six, then six, right? Uh, it's, it's seven, seven, six. Correct. Yep. Seven, seven, no, no, six, no. I mean, six tracks for phase one six tracks for phase two and then six tracks for phase correct. three yes. Right? yes yes that is correct okay and the fact that half these tracks would be vocal tracks i immediately call back to such you know great things like music to duel by from you know some random card yes game, or to be a master from some random you know critter teaming show and we all love those albums. I mean, on the road to Viridian. Oh wait, sorry, can't sing that, or else we're gonna get copyright struck. Can't do that. Uh, he sings so immaculately <laughs> yeah, Chris... that the bots will immediately <laughs> snatch <laughs> that and go like, "That's just the original recording. What have you done?" Right? right? Exactly. So, what if we were to take that concept and apply it to Million Blades? Million Blades is so many great characters created by such a great team of people. Like, the characters are so well designed that they basically call out to for more lore to be done around them and that's why i kind of wanted to dive into with this album and on top of that because these are each individual characters it was like huh what if we i have a lot of random contacts what if we got you know some really cool voice actors who may or may not have voiced in some card game playing animes to also sing on the songs yeah uh, yeah so yeah. it and i think it's um i think it's really cool that we're able to to really do it in the way that we wanted to do it like yes you know we didn't have to you know cut any corners or you know or skip any you know trim any edges like we're really doing the full vision for this album uh and i think that, that's like i think that's what it's all about and so this first track that you're going to be hearing which is the two tracks um is the we're going into the main theme of millennium blades we needed a millennium blades anthem you know for people to all you know sing out you know something uh late 90s early 2000s uh going back to that real this hard golden hitting, edge you know, a golden song. age of yep. card games yeah. yep yep so uh if you want to cue that up i don't know if we want to play the full seven minutes but um we could skip to the vocal track at hold on let me tell you where the vocal track yeah please be. tell me the exact timestamp for the vocal i assume hey, three yo, minutes hey, 30 but hold on marco um, I, got you. I got you bro all right brad i'm gonna go turn off my video for a sec so that while i'm streaming this it doesn't lag okay yeah that's probably a good idea that's uh salvia 
All right, so we could probably, uh, we could start the track, uh, and then we will skip to, give me a second while I find the exact. Okay, and I'm going to go try and stream. 3.55 is where the vocal track begins. Okay, so we can go to 3.30, uh, 3.50, and then just let it ride into there, right? Yep. All right. All right, Brad, are you watching, are you watching my stream? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can hear you. I think. No, but can, can you can you hear the music? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can hear. Yeah. It. All right. Great. Awesome. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Live react. That Marco, because Marco, your stream's a little laggy. Fine, 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 fine. We end. We <laughs> I'm end. sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Not even the. This is. Solo. Well, I want, okay. I want, I want people to listen to it the way that it was meant to be, you know, to be heard in high, you know, in like full fidelity. Mm -hmm. And I'm worried if we stream it, like. That's true. So I want to post it in in an upcoming update. So that we can get the. So you okay, get the but th there's your preview. That's a that's a great there's preview. Your preview. Yes. It's. I, so I I, really I I love it. I love the like the breakdown and the chorus. I'm yeah. I know I'm I'm so, I'm so happy with the soundtrack. It's super cool. So. so what's really cool about this? We actually at last second managed to bring on a full band to join us for that song. So we now got actual drums. Originally we started with no actual drums. They were you know synth drums and synth bass. Um, but uh, I reached out to a couple friends of mine from the band Odysseus, who just recently took off and stuff, and I was like, hey. Odysseus is in the on. chat right now. Say hi to Odysseus. Oh, oh cool. Oh, hi. hi. Welcome. Odysseus? <laughs> sure. They were like, play the solo, play the solo. Play, yeah. Oh, well, I guess, right. yeah. No, no, now, no, now that no, we're, now that we're no, at that no. point. Odysseus. Odysseus. No, no. Odysseus. The solo deserves better than uh, <laughs> the Marco's stream. Bit rate Marco's stream. stream from across the world. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. true. But um, so and maybe there's a chance that we could get Odysseus on a few other tracks to help make the soundtrack sound even better. Oh, um, that's that would be cool. That'd be super. Cool. So we're, ah. there's a couple things we're working out there, and I think from what you guys have heard so far and everything. I think we got something really special on our hands, and we got people like Lisa Ortiz, who's Amy Rose in Sonic X. We got Corinne Sudberg, who was, uh, wow, I can't remember her character's name in One Piece recently, but, uh, oh, she's going to kill me. But, yeah, um, Kaylee Mills, uh, who was recently in Final Fantasy uh, VII Rebirth. Um, yeah, this, we're getting some really cool names. Brad Swale, who I'm not sure if you guys remember, but there's this little game called uh, Mega Band Battle Network, and it had an accompanying anime. And uh, Brad was the voice of Lan in that anime for Mega Man Battle Network. Oh. Uh, he was also light in Death Note, but no one cares. did that. that. <laughs> I didn't know you voiced Lan in Mega Man Battle Network. Uh, Wait, am I no, talking about Brad, the wrong Brad? No, not this Brad. Not this Brad. Oh, Brad, no, Brad Swale. Swale. <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay. Not okay, me. Okay. Not me. I can't. I can't. Uh, I, no. Yeah, I can barely voice my own uh, my own Kickstarter video. No, I can see you as a light esque style, you know. Yeah. You know. Kikokuturi. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, boys. All right. Settle down. Settle down. Careful, Marco. He'll write your name in a book, and that's just gonna be the end of you. Yeah, but... I'm, I'm dead, bro. Yeah. Like... Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. Yeah. But um. Sorry. Also... Keep going, Troy. I'm sorry. Sorry for interrupting. How dare. So we have some also other possible cool people that I think we'll talk about more in the Kickstarter as it goes on. Yeah. Um, so please keep an eye out for that. We have already some names listed on the Kickstarter. I mean, Mega Ran, who's, you know, oh, I am well big known fan of Mega for Ran. his. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mega Ran is great. I am so excited to, gonna... to hear this get on board. Oh, yeah. But... The... So, Marco, who do you think Mega Ran is going to be uh, for the tracks? Oh, okay. Well, Mega Ram, Mega Man, Robot Masters, Power Creep. That's my answer. I'm locking Ooh. it in. Well, I'm sorry, but Ran in Mega Ran stands for random. And I think you might have a a, a, um, a very random uh, rapper character in, in one of your yeah, oh, yeah, we have a character that's actually oh. Mega Ran in our game. Yep. Uh, Aaron okay, that's Taylor. fair. We yeah. do we do have a yeah. random rapper character. Yeah. Okay, you know what? You know what? You guys are fair. Okay, fair. Gosh. Mm -hmm. You think Megaran will just steal will just create an alter ego called Aaron G and not tell us about it? No, no, I, 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 I think so. Like why does, does is that is that even necessary? Or is Aaron G an alternate identity for Mega Ran from the very beginning? We just oh man. Aaron G was just a copy of Mega Ran. I don't really. know. I don't know. That's uh that's not canon. <laughs> that's, <laughs> not that's, canon. that's not canon. Anyway, but well, yeah, so we're gonna have not, we're gonna have some easy. other updates coming on the uh, on the Kickstarter. And we're gonna show like full track previews that you can listen to over and over again at your convenience uh, and leisure. So uh, at at full uh, streaming fidelity and not through Marco's uh, uh, across the world internet. How are we uh, okay. getting the soundtrack yeah. out there, by the way, Brad? Like, so even... you can you can add it on to any pledge in the project, um, and it is also going to be uh, it's available in some of like the I, like the big everything tier. But um, the best way to get it is just add it on to whatever you're already getting as an add on. Um, you can do that now, or you can do it in the pledge manager. Um, but yeah, and we're putting together a CD of the soundtrack, so an actual physical CD release, which will also come with a Millennium Blades card in the CD. Um, right. So, yeah, so we're going to have a card in the CD. Um, we're also going to make it available for you on, like, uh, Spotify and uh, YouTube and stuff so that you can, you know, listen digitally if you just need to pull out your phone during game and play it. So, uh, so there's cool collector CD, and you can listen to it wherever fine music is streamed. So. tracks uh, 60 minutes 60 plus minutes because there might be a hidden something or something. yeah there might be a, there might be a hidden track who knows who knows yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, so i that's um what we, is this what's the name of the cd is was it the millennium CD the millennium soundtrack yeah millennium soundtrack that's what it mm -hmm. was so yeah or the soundtrack of the Sound millennium or the perennial soundtrack the primordial ooze no it's it's definitely the millennium soundtrack if you look for those other things you're not going to find it Fair. Okay. It's funny because the that those that first track that you heard is called yeah. Millennium Dreams, and the instrumental track that goes with it is called Dreams of Millennium. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, cool. Yeah, it's uh, I love it. Crows gets the naming scheme, yeah. Brad. Yeah. Crows gets the naming scheme. No, I, I love it. Well, we're all we're all really excited to be looking at, to be listening to the soundtrack soon, and um, yeah, look for that in a company, uh the fans of Millennium Blades across the world. Yeah, no, I'm really excited to be a part of this. Um, we're going to have some really fun. I hope you en all enjoy the album and basically give me crap if, you know, something sounds horribly or, you know, the lyrics that, are bad. That Don't is not dare. even in the realm of possibility uh, because no, we've already no, heard no, no, the no. soundtrack and we know that it's epic. So, But, uh, but so, here's the thing. You've I heard it, fans. You've heard yep. it. I have some card games I need to play. Where do these just keep coming from? They just keep appearing in my hands. I, I don't know. I just turn around and all of a sudden... See, I threw them... They keep appearing. No! They're back! No! Stay away! No! no. Oh, no. Bye! Uh, uh, gross! No! Uh-oh. <laughs> Gone! Dead! No! He's been killed! No. I, think, I, think cards, no, I think the cards... I think the cards got him. I think the cards got him.
The, oh, the cards got him. Don't worry, the cards got me a long time ago, baby. I'm already dead, you know? Um, in my heart of hearts, there is no longer a beating muscle. There is only cardboard. Stop! <laughs> I see. Oh, my. Oh, Marco. It's been a wild day Brett, today. Brett, Brett. It's been a wild day, but I'm ready for the last and final event of this show. Mm-hmm. Where we take your questions, hard hitting, soft hitting, loving, and try to answer them to the best of our abilities. We'll if you want best. to ask us anything about the project, about about anything you've seen today, um, maybe you just want to ask a question about Marco and Brad. Marco, what's your favorite food? Brad, what's your drink? Who knows? Feel free to ask yeah. it in the chat right now. We'll do our best to answer it while we're waiting, Brad. Who are you? Re what soundtrack track are you most excited for? Who's theme? Well, um, I am. I'm really excited for the the Exaltius theme, and I I gave Crows a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of notes. I wrote a bunch of lyrics. I don't know if it's gonna make it into the track, but I wrote this like this like, this, this badass heavy metal theme for Exaltius. Uh, like, and uh, I don't know. I hope it makes it. I hope it makes it. I don't know, but. Um, that's what I'm like. That, that's where I'm. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. So, uh, what about you, Marco? I, what well, are you looking for? Well, you you guys already spoiled it during the during the reveal. You know when you guys mentioned Megaran. So, uh, yeah. yeah. There, there you go. I think we're we're all really excited hey, look, to look, see what uh, we have. One. We have one musician character. His song has to be the best one, right? Like I, right? I don't. I think right? I think that they're. I think they're all gonna be like uniquely cool. Like, um, but That's I true. I know everybody. Everybody Dex will have. Everybody will have their own favorites. But yeah, like Dex is also a musician, right? Um, and and so like, to be fair, I'm just I'm just really into rap. Okay, I'm just really into rap and hip hop. I see. So I see. You know. Well. Yeah. Anyway, there's That's a lot I'm of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff so. on the way, and like you know, and the, I mean. With this project, we really are like, you know, Millennium Blades is like a known thing, right? Like, we know Millennium Blades, we play Millennium Blades, um, we've got the game, you know, like, what could a project like this be about? Uh, well, it's really about the people who are playing these games, and it's about the things that we make, you know, the expression of this culture around card games. And so it's about you. Yeah. And so aside from like this giant pile of like, like card game products, right. It's uh, we're really trying to uh, get like the artistic community and like music community and like, you know, people involved with this, with celebrating the like kind of shared card game culture that we're all part of. So, you know, so our art initiative, and our soundtrack, like, you know, um, getting involved with uh, with the um, the RPG, um, like you know, all this stuff. All right, we did a collaboration with Perfect Draw, mm -hmm. which is a card game TTRPG, and one of the Millennium Blades characters, sorry, the Bladesters, is going to appear as a, an encounter in their game. Yeah, so that's really cool. Uh, you really know, it's really fun because it's really fun because you, you know, Brad. Like when I was doing the artists, a lot of the artists got the vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can tell. You can tell that like, they like 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 they knew it's yeah. Like you know they knew the assignment. <laughs> they've they've been it's cuz they've been there, right? Like we all play yeah, like who hasn't played a collectible card game? Who hasn't like gone all in on one of these things and you know like gotten so absorbed that it's like it's like consuming everything, right? We all it's know so... that feeling and it's it's a special feeling that we share. And that's really what, hearts. yeah, that's really what Millennium Blades is about, is about that feeling yeah. of getting the, so excited. The real about the game. Millennium Blades! The real Millennium Blades is the friends we made along the way. You just said it. Uh, yeah, did it. sure. You said it. All right. You didn't, you didn't intend to do it, but you did it. M Millennium like, Blades is Millennium light. Blades. <laughs> it's light. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's so fun because. You know, so so the person who's doing one of our showcases, uh, Mina Water Melanie, um, we were doing we're, we're currently doing an art piece for for full time, mm -hmm. uh, and we haven't shown that yet. 
it's not out yet. Um, but you know, they were like, Hey, uh, what do you want Fulton to be doing? I'm like, well, Fulton's rich and has a lot of money. And I was like, you know, that one panel in the Yu-Gi-Oh comic where Kaiba tries to buy out Yugi's grandpa with like cards. And then Mina was like, say no more. I know exactly what you want. Uh, <laughs> this is like, like yeah. That, I know that exact scene by memory. You don't need to show me any more references. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, we're done. We don't yeah. No more direction for this. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, bet it's, and, uh, I think it's the the prompts were so fun uh, to to write and to see, yeah. see them come to life. Um, so it's right. anyway. Uh, it's, hey, Brad, it's we have some question. questions. All right, let's we let's talk questions. let's talk um, about your questions. If you could choose any Millennium Blades character to fight in a card game match against, who would it be? That's a really good question. Hmm. If I could battle any any of the Millennium Blades characters. Who would it okay, be? Are we playing Millennium Blades or some other card game, or are we playing poker? That's that's part of the question, I hmm. think. Let's just assume we're playing Millennium Blades, right? Um, yeah. I who would I fight? Yeah, like, <sighs> hmm. I think I'd Fulton and Mori are off the table for me. I'm not gonna fight them. <laughs> um, Does it have to be a fight? Can we like can we team up? Can we play co-op? No, no, no. You have to fight them in a match. You have to okay, duel it's a, against Okay, it's, it's a duel. It's a duel. All right. Oh, yeah, it's a duel. I'm not going to pick Fulton or Mori because they're weird and rich. So they'll be like, let's fight in an active volcano or something. And I don't want that, right? That's not my speed. Um, I don't want to fight Power Creep because he's too sweaty. I don't want to fight Exotius because he might end the world if he loses. Um, <laughs> let me see. I feel like uh, I want to fight short. I would get bodied. Um, yeah, I feel like someone yeah. like actually um, maybe I'm being influenced because because pictures pop in. But I feel like someone like Grelin would be like really chill to to play against. Um, yeah, you know. Yeah. But maybe you know maybe you should feel. I feel like I feel like uh, I would not only have a fun game but like a really fascinating conversation with with Shafil Descartes. Learn about the history. <laughs> yeah. Of, uh, like every card of... would have a story uh, that that, that uh, she'd want to tell. So that'd be my pick is Shafil. How about you, Marco? Okay. I think I would play Captain Cheetar. <laughs> Do you play against Captain Cheetar? <laughs> yes. Because I think I would want Valens to also cheat at Millennium Blades. Sorry, you you cut off a bit. You would want a what? You'd want a. I want a valid reason to cheat myself. Oh, I see. So that you would you would. I try to beat him at his own game. You would cheat because he'll cheat. I see. I yeah. see. Yeah. So like, so it's like no like even if people are like Marco's a cheater, I'm like yeah, but not as big of a cheater as this guy, right? So <laughs> who says you know, that? I can okay. get away. I, I um. Interesting. I, uh, I, I, it's interesting logic. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I <laughs> right, totally, right. if I'm totally feeling it. Cause even in, even in like uh, the classics, right? Like you've got to beat the villain. Uh, you've got, even if the villain is, is cheating, you have to play, you know, you have to play honest and still win anyway. Otherwise you can't become a shonen no. anime hero. I'm not going to be a shonen anime hero. I'm the shonen anime villain. What? What are you talking you're the, about? You're the villain. I'm the show. Oh, so you're you're I'm playing you're playing Cheetar so you can unseat him and become a ghost pirate yourself. Correct. Now it Correct. all makes more sense. Correct. Now it all makes more Correct. sense. I, I'm the I'm not the hero. I'm that former teammate who beats the bad guy and replaces him as the primary antagonist. So you're two. you're my antagonist. All these years, I thought we were we were allies, but in fact, you're my no. shonen anime antagonist. Correct, correct. You are the light. I am the darkness, right? See, you're wearing hello. I'm wearing black. It's it's oh, oh, the deep L nine nine lore. Oh my gosh! Okay, I here's didn't another even know question. <laughs> More Millennium Blades. Why would you do this to me? Level ninety nine games. Well, you you listen, you friend. ask why, but what you should be asking is why not. Oh. Uh, why oh, not more question. millennium blades that's true 
because for a millennium. Um, any other projects set in the millennium verse? That's uh, well, a really I guess we we kind of we kind of talked about uh, one earlier in the uh, in the stream. I have a few actually that are like other projects set in the millennium verse, but uh, it's still too early to say. But they're pretty cool. Um, I think we're gonna do at least one millennium verse game beyond Millennium Blades in uh, 2025. Oh, nice, nice. I'm, yeah. I'm really excited for that. Oh, here's another question. I love the Millennium Blades community, by the way, because most of the time when we do these, F, uh, you know, questions <laughs> at the end of a stream, people are asking about the like, project. Like deep logistics, or, uh, deep logistics questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now <laughs> they're just asking. Here's, here's the next question, Brad. It's amazing. Okay. Which Millennium Blades character would be your best friend? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. There's uh, only one answer to this. <laughs> Is there one canonical answer? <laughs> yeah. I um I mean I feel like I feel like I'd I'd have a pretty good rapport with like with Pritchard, Pritchard Leftfield. Um maybe oh, with course, maybe like I uh, yeah. I feel like Maury would probably be the person I'd like call on to ask like, you know, ask questions. Logistics questions. Yeah, to ask questions and logistics. Um, so he'd be like, a, I think Mori would make a yeah. good mentor for me. Uh, Pritchard probably also, uh, but it's someone that I'd, I'd sit and like, you know, have uh, like invite over for game night, right? That's fair. Wouldn't Pritchard like be weird about it though? Because you, you would resemble Druid King Brad from his <laughs> universe? I don't know. Pritchard exists in three different timelines. Maybe I'll get one that doesn't uh, that doesn't uh, have those uh, those preconceived uh, notions about about Druid King Brad. Sure. There's only one correct answer to this, Brad. What? Uh, and you got it wrong. Uh oh. It's uh -oh. mysterious alien F. She was already your friend. You already. never knew it, but she was already your friend. She was. Okay. She's your best friend. You just don't know it yet. Just right? a, yeah. yeah. Um, future future friends. Okay, but. But if I'm answering this question like seriously, I think I would really gel with Dex or Aaron. I think Dex or Aaron would be really chill, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm a brewer, but I'm also like a drafter, right? Like when I play these kinds of games, I either make the jankiest garbage possible or draft, right? And those yeah. two characters, that, that's oh, what man. they do. I could go right? to like my shelf back here and just pull off like five jank concept decks. Um, like, yeah, like it's, it's, uh, that's really what it's all about. That's, that's the only way to play a game. Yeah. Um, okay. So what's Marco, what's the most recent TCG pack you opened? Uh, digital TCG is allowed. Okay. Digital, digital is also allowed. So there's, there's two. Okay. There is, okay. I, re I bought some, I haven't opened them yet. Does that count? Uh, No. No, no. But I just bought altered. Okay, well, just altered. tell us. Oh, you got altered. Okay, okay I, cool. I got altered. Uh, very interesting looking game. Uh, my partner and I got starter decks and a bunch of packs. Uh, we're gonna crack them open once they get here. It's gonna oh, be okay. awesome. Uh, for for actual packs, I think I opened an MKM from Magic, and mm -hmm. I opened. Uh, does opening caches in Marvel Snap count? I. Uh... I don't think so. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. No, only, if, no. only if you get All a new right. card, so, not if you get a, like a, an altar. I mean, obviously. What a weird, what a weird line uh, to draw. <laughs> but somehow it seems <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's correct. So, yeah, I, I would say MKM. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, Murders at Karlov Manor. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, Altered. Altered, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. Guess what? Guess which starter deck I picked, Brad. Uh... I, I couldn't even guess. I couldn't even guess. I'm so far. The red aggro now. one. It's a red aggro one. Oh, okay. There's no, it's the red aggro one. Ah. It's the red aggro one. It's, it's, it's the red aggro. Okay. One. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Somebody in chat said, congrats on the <laughs> fast gold. Did you expect to reach your funding goal before the stream ended? <laughs> um, so I... just a quick update. We're at around 70,000 right now. Right. Um, I, um, let me see. I don't know. I I know that it 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 like it funded at like noon our time, like twelve thirty. And wow, that's even faster. But, but I'll I'll say, and like I said in in the update too, that like, you know, 
even I've I've been doing this ten years and I've run tw this is my twenty sixth project twenty seventh project, and I still like when it's time to like click the button and launch a project, I look over at Josh and I'm like like Josh what if nobody likes my game, <laughs> and <laughs> like you know um like there's real there's real real nerves and I um yeah that's fair but it's 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 like that for. Like, I think all creators, all creators, like even, you know, like, uh, well, I don't know, but like, even when I meet like really successful creators in real life, you know, um, they, they even say, say like, yeah, I'm surprised that people like it. And I still worry that, you know, that, uh, you know, that, that people will, uh, will not like my work when I publish something new. And like that, that baffles, like, I mean, I'm looking at this, this, you know, this famous person who's, who's an idol to me. I'm like, that baffles me. Um, but you know, then I, I, you know, I live it. And then like, I guess that that doesn't go away. It's just something that you, you live with as a creator. So uh, it's wild because to me, to me, you're like the famous creator right? I, and it's like, well, there, um, there you go, right? It's the it's same, so same phenomenon. Then, like, it's the same thing, you, right? Like, you never, like, even you never really if, get past it. Even if you've done like twenty-eight games and you have made some of my favorite games, it's like you know. And here I am, little Marco, not releasing any games of his own yet, uh, yet with designs yeah, yet. in the backlog. <laughs> yeah, yet uh, with designs in the backlog, and I go like, you know, man. And when I be I'm already as confident as you in that. We all get our nerves, you know. Yeah, uh, we all we all get our nerves. It's true. Um, it's true. We all yeah. we all get some nerves. So, but um, uh, I really okay. uh, what I want to say what I want to say with all that is um, I really do appreciate you know everybody who who comes on and and joins and it is it's a privilege every time that a project is successful. It's not something that hmm. you know that we that we ever take for granted. Um. Then my yeah. message to, you know, to other creators who are like thinking about a project is, you know, uh, publish, you know, like put your work out there. Definitely do, you know, like all the due diligence, do all the background stuff that you need to succeed. But, you know, like don't, don't be, don't be too afraid to push that button and publish your work and share it with the world. Um, because if you, if you don't do anything, then nothing ever happens. The only way to move forward is to share your creative work. Wow. Uh, Wise words. And that's such a good note to end the live stream on. And as much as we shouldn't be afraid to hit launch, we also shouldn't be afraid to hit end. And when things need to come to an end, they must come to an end. Thank you all so much for being with us on the celebratory live stream. If you want to hear more from us, we'll be posting more updates. We'll be on social media. We'll be wherever you need us to be. And of course, you can join our Discord if you want to talk to me or Brad. Yeah, we'll be there. So Directly. Um, but yeah. without ado, it has been me. Oh, it has been what? What 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 do you want to say? Oh, what do you want to say before? No, we... you you lagged out, so I was trying to fill the space. <laughs> but yeah, oh my it's gosh. been me, uh, your your host, Brad Talton, president of Level 99 Games, creator of Millennium Blades, and my wonderful co-host uh, who puts all this together and makes it all possible, the lead developer for Millennium Blades, who helped balance and test these cards and to make what you're about to play possible. Um, that person is above me. Marco De Santos, also known as the Leganic Critic, because I'm lagging. Um, <laughs> without much else to say, uh, Brad, say it on three. Always remember to one, two, three. Grab life Happy by the game. blade. The blade. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> we got two slogans now, Marco. <laughs> Happy gaming and grab life by the blade, everyone. See right. ya. See y'all later. Bye.